The top 10 strongest in Baki is something quite controversial and very reliant on perspective alongside what the narrative is pointing towards. However, we all love talking about who is stronger than another as I've done in many videos myself, but today I'm trying something new, reacting to a fellow Baki content creator's top 10. Make sure to check out his full video and channel, but let's get into my breakdown of his ranking. In this video, I'll try to make a top of the strongest characters of the Bucky series in 2024. It will be my opinion, my point of view. If you are so 2024, based on the thumbnail, it seems like he's going pretty much top 10 strongest of all time, not currently in the manga. For example, considering characters who may be dead, perhaps. Agree or disagree with me? Leave your comments down below. Katsumi Orochi, he was a Um, so current Katsumi has a lot of potential, especially with Retsu's arm and the narrative of already surpassing Doppa Orochi in the pickle arc. He has the future fight with Jack set up, which I believe is going to be pretty good, but his placement really depends on who goes above or perhaps who's not actually included in this video. So for now, it's fair. He gave a good fight to Pickle, even though he lost, it was all about the Cayman's insane body durability. If he. Yeah, he definitely did much better than some other characters in his Pickle fight. Nomi no Sukune second. Um, I guess a little controversial. I'm from the perspective that Sukune isn't going to return anytime soon. However, including him in the top 10 strongest of, I guess, all time, kind of fair now. During his arc, he was established as a monster when it comes to grip strength and still could be argued as having the most powerful grip strength in that regard. And even though he lost against the Hunmers, we have arguments, particularly from Jack's perspective, that he could have actually lost if he didn't, you know, play smart in that fight. And Bucky also respecting him outside of like defeating him in 9 seconds. So Sukune, even though he got wildly disrespected in his arc, he still has a lot of stuff pointing to him being pretty strong. A bit off Sukune's finger and Oliver took his rematch and now I feel like he fell down to 9th place. Without the finger his grip is not so terrifying. So he just mentioned that Sukune would have been higher but he's fallen down to 9th place now. So once again, I guess going over the current top 10 strongest, maybe not the top 10 strongest of all time, not taking, I guess, a character's peak per se due to Sukune's loss of a finger. Fine and powerful, and overall everyone power up strongly. So for me, Nomi fell down but still remained his place in the top 10, even though a bit lower than he was before. Biscuit Oliver, he is one. I agree with this, I would rank Oliver over Sukune now. And I did a poll in my Discord server going over pretty much a hypothetical full power Sukune prepared versus a full power Oliver prepared in their fight. Who would win? The victor of that poll was Oliver, meaning it's more common to believe Oliver as a whole is stronger than Sukune. And especially moving forward, Oliver will probably have better showings in the future of the story, so yes, very valid ranking him above Sukune. Yeah, he still could be defeated by the masters of the martial arts like Dopo or Shibukawa, but still, I feel like he deserves his place. Yes, Oliver is perhaps weak to technique, but I think a lot of people really believe Goki or Dopo could defeat Oliver in an all-out one-on-one fight. Kaioretsu, yeah. Okay. A little weird, so I guess, once again, coming back to the strongest of all time. Unless he's going to talk about Isekai Retsu here, which is a little weird to consider. But I think most people would say Katsumi has surpassed Retsu at this point. Or at the very least, considering the title 2024, most people would rank Katsumi above Retsu, who's been dead in the series timeline now for at least 8 years, close to 10 years now. That's actually how long ago it happened during the Masashi arc, when looking at the release schedule, it's been quite some time. Yeah, he is dead at this time in the manga, but he still deserves to be mentioned in this top. Even at his first appearance during Maximum Tournament, he was mentioned by Yujiro Hanma as the one who was able to awaken the Hanma spirit in Baki. He 
that's fair. Retsu during the maximum tournament was one of the stronger fighters and did push Baki to do his imagination training outside of the arena itself, something he hadn't really done prior for any other fighter, showing the might of Retsu and of course what he did to Katsumi in that fight as well. But still, that was a long time ago. Characters get stronger. He also learned one of the strongest techniques in the Baki series, the Fenty Xiao. I will give him that, to this day, Zhao Li, one of the most overpowered abilities in all of Baki, Retsu being able to master it in the short time he did, and actually implement it to some success against Masashi, was very respectable, and could be I guess the best way to argue his spot over Katsumi at this point. And was able to give a great fight to Musashi Miyamoto. He thrived as China's second strongest right after Kaku Kayo, until his death. Pickle, a dude who- Alright, Pickle at 6. I think a lot of people would probably rank Pickle higher. In regards to his current role in the story, Pickle hasn't had a fight since the Masashi arc, where he was kinda embarrassed, but he faced Masashi so you can't take too much away from him. It can be argued that during his Pickle arc, Baki is the superior fighter than him, with Baki getting stronger in his Yudro fight, being able to drop Pickle in an instant. At the end of the previous manga, he did return looking buffed up, and of course has foreshadowing for a future rematch against Jack as well. That's probably going to demonstrate Pickle as a top tier once again. So perhaps 6 is too low, or perhaps it's fair considering he hasn't done anything in a long time. Kaku Kaio. Alright, so I was expecting this when he said that Retsu is pretty much the second strongest from China. Kaku above Pickle, I don't agree with. I don't think many people would agree with. However, there is an argument for that being the case. For a long time, it was believed that during Pickle's fight against Katsumi, Kaku claimed that he would rather stop his heart than actually fight Pickle. This was due to, unfortunately, the Wild Fang translation plague on the fandom, something I've covered in previous videos. But the main point is he didn't say that. It was more so... His main strategy would be to stop Pickle's heart, that's how he would win that fight. However, based on reactions and facial expressions, I wouldn't say Kaku would be that confident. And we even have arguments from the Ali Jr. arc of Kaku being comparable to the likes of Doppo and Goki. If you don't know, Kaku's fight against Yudro occurred right before this reveal, which could make it kinda relevant and he hasn't had an official fight since then, meaning he's extremely outdated, over 20 years since a proper fight, but still is respected in a training position with the likes of Retsu and the Masashi arc, also having the power to drop Motobe from a sneak attack from behind, but still, I wouldn't rank him above Pickle, I don't think many people would actually do that. But even against Pickle, I think he has a great chance thanks to his defensive slash offensive showery, as he was able to injure even Yujiro with this technique. And overall, he is the most. Right before Pickle bites off his head, but yeah. Jack Hadma, slowly. Yeah, I like this. Currently, I would rank Jack above Pickle. He's continuing to get stronger throughout his arc, the rise of his martial art, the way of abiding, and much more. Jack Hadma definitely deserves to be in the top 5 now, that's without a doubt. Musashi Miyamoto. Um. I can pretty much guess the final three now. We'll have Basashi, Baki, and then Yudro. So Baki having surpassed Masashi at this point, I guess is fair to say, and I would probably agree with that. Based on the showings in the Masashi arc, had a better performance and should be ranked above Baki. However, it's likely he'll never return in the series, regardless of this claim. So ranking Baki above him now, is something I think is more fair to say, but still, I would say Masashi, Baki, interchangeable, just to make some people happy. Body. As a result, he is a guy who was never defeated. Baki Hanma. Surely Baki will be in second place. He is uh, the main character. Yeah, Baki at second is fair. Most people agree with this now. Yujiro Hanma. Yeah, number one, everyone knows this, love the image. Yujiro Hanma is the strongest. 
honorable mention. A dudes who are also really strong and maybe they deserve to be in this top, but I'm stupid for not including them, you can say. But I can say this is my top and I do whatever I want with it. The top 10 have only 10 places and I pick the ones who are for now the strongest in my opinion. Like he said for now again, Rich is dead, but yeah. Opinion. Um, so Yuchiro Hanma, who knows how strong he is, fair to say he shouldn't really be included, mainly just head cannon and stuff that isn't definitive to rank him, so fair. Goki and Doppo, I think Katsumi has surpassed both of them, so Katsumi being above them at 10th spot is fair. Motobe is a weird one. With weapons and prep time, some people would argue he belongs in the higher range. Without, he doesn't have the best showing, so... He can be included, he doesn't have to be included, it really depends. Honey Armor, I believe, does deserve a spot and I would personally put him in my current top 10, especially considering his performance in the Masashi arc, doing a lot better than most of the other fighters. However, speaking about that, characters like Katsumi or even Oliver didn't face Masashi to have a real comparison. However, if you compare Honey Armor to Pickle during that arc, Haniyama had a much better showing, even overpowering Musashi in a situation where he kind of dominated or outplayed Pickle in the same scenario. So I would include Haniyama. I'll probably take out Retsu. Kaku perhaps can go in there, perhaps not. That's a little bit iffy. But as a whole, I would say it's a pretty good ranking. And a ranking like this really does depend on perspective. And what could potentially be the ranking, as we have no definitive, most people would agree on outside of a few placements. So once again, shout out to Erased. Make sure to check out his video linked in the description. And I hope you enjoyed today's reaction, breakdown, whatever you want to call it. That's it guys. Peace.